How's it going everyone? Jesus here, aka Tyrant Dominus, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Anchor. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. Honestly, Anchor is a very enjoyable platform to be on, listen on, and just a joy to be a part of this community. Anchor, come check us out. And welcome back to another episode of Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, and this time around we're going to be talking about the movie Black Widow. Black Widow is the first movie in the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I'm going to start by saying that this film, this film felt like it should have been like slotted somewhere earlier on. It really showcased the basically Black Widow a little bit more and I think this this would have been perfect uh, because this was taken during the events after Civil War and it would have shined a little bit more light uh, it would have put a little bit more uh, interesting scope on some other things in the in the f- movies uh, moving on from from this film since it's a very interesting uh, like like not interpretation it's more like we're getting a bigger scope on who uh, uh, Natasha Romanoff is uh, besides Black Widow and once again Scarlett, jo- uh, Scarlett Johansson does a fantastic job uh, you know as uh, as Black Widow and you know we have a, a new cast uh, joining us this time around uh, as with what is what's her name trying to remember names Florence who I cannot pronounce your name apologies um david harbour um and uh, so much more uh but these are kind of the, some of the mainstays in the in the film and for the most part you know um, marvel movies for the for for the first three phases have always either been mediocre to very excellent and once again this movie in itself i would say it's it's above average it, it was a reasonably um good movie the the thing like i said earlier is like it this movie felt like it should have been slotted differently and it would have hit a little differently than if it was the first movie in the next phase of films uh i understand that if you're listening to this uh make sure you say there is an end credits to this and it having this end credits makes sense for what happened in Endgame uh, with the, the passing of Black Widow. So moving forward, it'll be interesting. But if you don't know that Black Widow dead, then you've been under a rock. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try to avoid as much spoilers for the movie Black Widow as much as I can as I kind of talk about uh, what I thought. Because the movie itself opens up um, and it's like a good uh, 10 10 15 minutes scenes and i was kind of lost with it it's like like the young version i thought they were going to open in the red room a little bit but it's just like this weird like young natasha doing this strange mission with uh, the family or the undercover family and it's uh, interesting and but it kind of just like what what is happening and stuff like that because you got to kind of have to build a cohesion cohesive story uh, with this and that's the one thing about this film that that was kind of kind of kind of forcing is like this this uh, idea of family and things like that to kind of make sense of kind of all the plot points that were put into this uh, secondly the the villain of the the film just didn't like didn't really pick off there's a couple of interesting fight scenes but there are moments where like it just felt underwhelming i wish they 
did a little bit more with the choreograph fights but there are there are moments like you wish there was a little bit more like a little oomph to it but besides that it was fine but the villain was like so so uh and that kind of thing that, that's a that's always been a, a something lackluster with marvel movies is their villains and for sure this movie hits the mark with a rough villain that's like okay so that's what's bringing everyone together things like that uh besides that like the movie for being like a little over two hours it after a kind of a little bit of a slow start and picking up it's it, it hits the it hits it hits fast you know there's action sequences a lot of exposition uh moving forward there's a few moments where it, it slows down a little bit to kind of catch your breath and it, it fits well like the pacing for the most part after the, a little bit of a slow start just picks up and just the the rest of the cast does a really wonderful job and kind of the explanation of the the kind of the black widow project and stuff like that it's like really interesting like i didn't know what they were going to go with it i was really interesting what what the whole premise of the film was going to be uh with like like what's happening is what, what's this kind of teen up stuff because you see all these trailers and you see a family thing like okay what what like what is this and you you and you're bringing in stuff that was hinted uh, in other films like the Red Room and all this stuff like training and kind of what they did to them and it's brought up in this um, another thing is the comedy the comedy actually fits well with some of these and it maybe there's a few points in the film early on that you're like looking at this and like is this okay that that is this, this, it's funny and you're like okay and you're thinking it's gonna be a bit more serious film but there's it's not that it's not serious it's just it's a Marvel movie it has to have its comedic factor and it this film does a really good job with its comedic factor um, the audience I was in I was, I was in a smaller uh, grouping uh, but we had a good couple chuckles we had um there it, it made me audibly laugh a couple times um, and and yeah the the comedy was ever like fine it was like enjoyable and um nothing like too outrageous but enough to like yeah that's funny yeah um and things uh so yeah it's this film i'm gonna give i'm gonna give this movie a solid seven out of ten um you know it, it was a solid set good movie uh like i said it could have they could have expanded a little bit more with the villain uh there could have been a little bit more like choreographed fights to kind of showcase the the like the villain and his goons and stuff like that and yeah and the kind of the plot was kind of just a little bit forced in there but you know I like and for, it, this film for sure could have worked well early on and it just doesn't feel like well placed so we'll see we'll see what the rest of the films in the next phase uh, four will do because next is uh, Shang Chi and the Secrets of the Ten Rings and yeah I'm looking forward to that and see where that goes because now now we're kind of done with the uh, with the rest of the old casting now we're moving with the new cast of uh, Avengers but yeah uh, I'm going to be talking about spoilers after in a little bit, so if you're done listening and you haven't seen the rest of haven't seen the film, yet, go check it out. It's worth a uh, it's worth a good single watch, and if you're watching on Disney Plus, it's worth thirty dollars if you're splitting amongst the, a group. Besides that, it's worth one movie ticket. Uh, this movie itself was not really like me going to see multiple times. There's a couple of movies I've seen multiple times in cinema, and Black Widow is not going to be the one that I will see multiple times. Um, but it, it's a it's good that I did watch it one time in, in the theater. Um, so thank you for listening if you uh, got this far, because I'm going to be talking about spoilers. If you don't want to get spoilers, you can leave now and come back later. But if you're still here, you know, let's talk spoilers. So, so we get this whole like Black Widow project, right? And you get like the director of the Red Room and stuff like that, and who's like controlling everything. And he has like an army of Black Widows and Taskmaster and everything. And yeah, it, like you think because the trailers really portray Taskmaster as the villain of this the the film, but it turns out he's just a puppet. I'm, I'm my my bad. She turns out to be a puppet because apparently it turns out that the director of of what do you mean the Red Room, Taskmaster, was the daughter of of t- 
the director who Natasha was trying to like assassinate and that was a little collateral damage but she did, didn't end up killing him so some other things here was like I said the villain the, yeah like the director like it's just I don't know it just it felt really underwhelming it just I get it you know he's the one that like made you suffer made your your sister and your family suffer here's the thing also about family like we like like I was talking about the beginning you get this shot with um, I forget the name, but uh, I think it's Alexi slash the Red Guardian. You get Natasha, young Natasha, and then you get his, her sister. What's the name of the sister? Um, uh, what is it? Yelena? Yelena? Is it Yelena? And um, Yelena? And the mom. I, I don't know what the name of the mom is, actually. Uh, but yeah, it's just... Um, and... You just get this moment with like, yeah, just this family and they're undercover in Ohio stealing like this formula that it turns out to be like the Black Widows are being like mind controlled with chemicals and stuff instead of psychologically. And yeah, it's just like this weird MacGuffin where they have this like antidote to save all the Black Widows and you have to gather a team so you gotta go get their father. It just, there's a lot like when it it fits in it's just there's a lot it's you're it's like feeding you and like yes natasha had a father-ish figure in the red guardian um and for sure there's like i said there's another thing where we have a super soldier and if you watch black uh, winter soldier and uh, the falcon and the winter soldier slash captain america and the winter soldier uh you know that there is a person by the name of oh my god why can't i remember his name who was his name from winter soldier and civil war oh my baron zemo like he does not he wants to kill all super soldiers uh besides like one but for the most part like super soldiers are like that he needs to end it and then you have the red guardian uh and he's a super soldier that doesn't mean he's dead is there like did baron zemo go after him will he go after him things like that um and just the whole you know the whole thing with uh, them going after the red room like I, it makes sense they're going after the red room to go save the rest of the black widows uh and kill the mastermind for once but then it turns out the <laughs> the like I said earlier, the director's daughter turns out to be Taskmaster, and then they do another kind of cliche, like, oh yeah, we like, like mentally made it so you can't kill, you can't kill me, the director, because all the pheromones I give out, so you mentally can't assault me. It's like, oh, okay, like, uh, <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot in here, and you have to just take it in. It's <laughs> uh, Droko. Drokov, that's the name. And it's just, the, yeah, the villain Drokov. Dro, Drokov. Drokov? And, yeah, I just, the villain is just like, yeah. I was hoping Taskmaster was going to be more interesting, but it just was like a puppet. Then it turned, yeah. But I, like I said, the rest of the film was fine. It was good. It was funny and stuff like that. But yeah, we're, we'll see what uh, we'll see what it goes because now that we have the the post credits of this one, where you see, you know, you, after it says um, Belova and Con, there's uh, Contessa. If you remember her from Falcon and Winter Soldier, she, this would have been the first time you would have saw her if the film came out first, which would have been interesting because you would have met this Black Widow, then you would have met the um, him with the uh, what's his name. Oh, I can't remember the U.S. agent's name, but would have met with them, and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. But now they're they're apparently um, Belova is working with Contessa, and now they're going after Clint because Clint killed technically, uh, which we call it, Black Widow. I mean uh, Romanoff, and yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. We'll see where what happens from there. But yeah, it's a, the, the, it was fun. It was a fun film. It was just a little lackluster and yeah, the like. So let me know what you guys thought. So thank you for listening or watching. Until next time, see ya.